In this video, I want to show you the steps how to create custom ticket fields in Zendesk. So if you have admin access in Zendesk, you can go to the admin center. And then from the left-hand side in the search, if you search for fields under tickets, we should be able to see the list of ticket fields that we have right now. So you'll see some of them are system field, which mean that these are all standard fields from Zendesk. Some of them got installed as part of an application and that got installed here as an instance. And if we want to add new field, we can just click on this add field button. Then the first thing is that we can, we need to assign the name of the field. So in this case, what I'm trying to do is that I want to track uh, what's the resolution that I uh, give to the customer. So in this case, for example, I'm just going to say ticket resolution. And then I can choose the field type. In this case, I'm going to choose drop down. But you have all the option to choose multi-select, text, multi-line checkbox, numeric, decimal, date, credit card. Or if you have the pattern that you want to create, like zip codes or URLs or dates, then you can use this regular expression. So for this one, um, ticket resolution, I'm going to create it as a drop down. And the next part is that I need to set the permission in terms of who can see this field. So by default, it's only visible for agent only, meaning that this field is only visible in the agent interface. Now, if you want the users to select this field, and when they submit ticket, for example, when they submit ticket through the help center, then what you want to do, you want to choose this field permission to be editable for the end users. Or you can also set this field to be read only for end users. This is so that they can see the field value on the request page on the help center. So for this example, this ticket resolution is internal. So I'm going to choose agent only. Then the next part is where I would enter the field values. For example, I guess one of the resolution uh, is that I issue refund um, for my customer or as an replacement for damaged product, for example. And then once I'm ready, then I just need to hit save. So once the field is saved, then if we head back to the ticket, uh, let's open one ticket, for example. And what we need to do, I think we probably need to refresh the browser one more time. And then the custom ticket field that we just created now should show up on the left-hand side. Now, please note, if you are using multi-form, this is, there's another step that you need to do to add the, uh, the field to the form that the ticket you have active. So for example, this one over here, I want to add it to a form that's called order tracking. So in the form, I choose order tracking. And then on the right hand side, I just need to add this ticket resolution to the form. So by default, it's adding it to the very bottom. So I hit save. And then when I go back to the ticket, hit refresh. Then the new field should be visible. And then I can choose the option and save the ticket. So yeah, hopefully that's useful. Thanks for watching this video.